In this video, I'm going to build and demonstrate a Rube Goldberg machine. In this Rube Goldberg machine, there are seven transfers of energy using gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, and kinetic energy. Ultimately, all the energy in this system is dissipated due to friction and thermal energy. Let's get on with the video. Here it goes. Gravitational potential energy is converted into kinetic energy when a roll of clear tape is guided down an inclined plane held up by a cardboard box. The kinetic energy is then transferred into a roll of blue tape when it is struck by the roll of clear tape. The roll of blue tape is balanced delicately between a book and a wooden stick. The book applies an external force on the roll of blue tape. The wooden stick does not slide as the roll of blue tape provides an external force to prevent the wooden stick from sliding. When the roll of blue tape starts to move, the wooden stick slides and has kinetic energy transferred to it from the work done by the applied force that was holding it in place. The wooden stick was holding a battery wound around a floor lamp with a string. The wound battery had elastic potential energy stored in it. When the wooden stick slipped and fell over, the external applied force that was holding the battery in place was removed allowing it to unwind and release the elastic potential energy in the wound up string. The battery hit a ball placed on a ramp made of styrofoam packing material, converting the elastic potential energy in the string to kinetic energy for the ball. The ball also had gravitational potential energy already stored in it. When it was hit by the battery, it rolled down the styrofoam ramp with a combination of kinetic and potential energy. All of its energy was converted into kinetic energy at the bottom of the ramp. With still some kinetic energy left, the ball is then guided by a track made from books and a shoebox. It strikes a ping pong ball, transferring some of its energy into the ping pong ball. Both balls fall into a detergent cap and come to rest. The kinetic energy of the two balls is absorbed by the detergent cap which moves a little from its original position, expending that energy into work done in moving the detergent cap. I hope you learned something new from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!